What is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be kickstarting a React hook series where we'll be going through each of the hooks that comes with the React and we'll be learning how to implement them using TypeScript and React. So some TypeScript will be required for you to know in order to follow this series. So to begin with we'll be looking at the very first hook or the most common hook which is the useState hook. And what I've gone ahead and done is set up a boilerplate kind of project where we have a list of movies and we have some kind of input form where we can add a movie and then click and then it should then add to the list that we have. Now right now of course this is just boilerplate or basic HTML or TSX uh, that we have so there's no functionality here and we'll be looking at how we can go ahead and use useState with this. Now, just for a piece of um, small piece of information, in order to the way I set up this project, I just deleted all the kind of basic code that comes with Create React app, and all I did was type in npx create React app, and then React use state, which is the name of my project, so you can just name it whatever you want, and then dash dash template, and then TypeScript to tell it that we'll be using TypeScript in our React project. Now this of course should be MPX, not MPC. So uh, make sure you type in that if you wanna follow along and code along. Of course, all the code for this will be made available in a GitHub repository, which I'll just add in the description. Before we start making use of the useState hook in React, we first have to have a bit of an understanding of what state is. So now state is a way for each of our React components to keep track of information belonging to that component and that information can update over time as the users making use of your application so for example in our case we'll be keeping track of the movies that we have in our app so the list of movies in this case is godfather part one harry potter etc we'll also be using use state for the implementation of allowing a user to add movies to our list of movies. So for example, in our input here, which doesn't work right now, if the user wants to add Lord of the Rings, they will be able to enter it and then add movie. And this then will be added to this state and it will be updated and then React will show it. So one thing to keep into account is that our hook, so any hooks that comes with React or any hook that comes with React can only be used inside of functional components. In this case, this is a functional component. In the past, class-based components very uh, was very popular. I don't know if how much that is still in use, but you can only use our hooks inside of functional components. So to create a hook or the use state hook, first we'll say const and then square brackets. And the first one is going to be a variable. So the state itself, and we'll call this a movies the second one is going to be a function which will allow us to update our variable. So we'll say set movies like so. And then this equals use state, which automatically imported for me on VS Code, but this use state is just imported like so inside curly brackets. And so what this use state does is it returns two values. The first one is the variable or the state itself. In our case, we've called it movies. The second one is a function which allows us to update our variable. In this case, set movies, which we'll use to add movies to our movie state. Now you can of course name this whatever you want. You can say um, movies function if you like. However, a lot of times inside of uh, React engineers tend to name it set and then the name of it. So I'm just gonna keep it like set movies. All right. So now let's specify the type of our movies and this is going to be an array of strings. So we'll say array and this is going to hold string. Now here, this is where we will define the initial value. Now this is the value that will be set the moment this component loads. So this will set it to a list already and we'll call this the, we'll say the first one is the Godfather part one the second we'll have as Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which we'll just paste in here. And I have like a formatter on save, that's why you see the shifting of lines. 
the third one will say Toy Story 1. And then the fourth, Gladiator. So by default, the movies will be set to this the moment this component loads. So it will already have these four values inside of it. Now, what we can do now is remove this list that we have here and just map over our movies. So inside curly brackets, movies dot map and then movie we want to return a list of the movie itself now this of course is complaining as we also need a key here and as each movie is unique let's just set that to movie all right now if i head back over to the application nothing's really changed visually as it's just returning uh, or the state or oh, it's just mapping over the state, which is four strings of, so Godfather part one, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets and Toy Story and Gladiator. All right, so now we're just mapping over our state. The next thing now is to add a bit of magic to our application where it allows the user to add a movie to this movies list. So let's create another state and we'll say const and this will be new movie. And this will, and this will hold the value that the user types in here. So as the user is typing in this, this value here will be set to this new movie. The second one is going to be set movies, set new movie. And as the, and this is the function that we'll use to update this new movie. And all will become a bit more clearer in a second. So we'll say use state here. And this is going to be a string where we'll set the initial value to a blank string. Now, inside of our input, we want to set the value to whatever new movie is. So we'll say value equals and then new movie. So if we head back over now, you may have already uh, realized this or uh, thought of this, but we can't type anything in our input field because the value of this input field is new movie and new movie is just an empty string. So we're not doing anything to actually update this. That's why this in turn is not being updated either. All right, so let's now go ahead and add some logic which will update this so that as the user types, new movie is being updated with whatever value they're adding in. So for that, let's create a function called onChange. So we'll say const and then onChange and this will take in an argument, which is the value of our input field. So we'll say event and let's specify the type. So react.form event. And the type of that is going to be HTML input element. All right, now this is going to return nothing. So we'll just say void. And for this, we'll say that as the user is typing in their values, we want to update this new movie. So in order to do that, we'll use this set new movie function. So set new movie, and this will be whatever value the user has currently entered inside our input box. So we'll say event dot current target dot value. And that just allows us to access whatever the current value is inside this input field. So now we just need to associate this with our input. So here we'll just say on change equals on change. All right, so if we head back, now we can easily enter whatever we want, just like before. So now the next thing is when the user clicks on this add movie, we want to take whatever input is in here and add it to our list of uh, our array of movies. So to do that, we have to add some functionality around our button. So we'll create a new function and we'll call this const add new movie. And this again will return nothing. Now inside here, the first thing we want to do is when the user clicks on the button, we want to take whatever value is inside new movie and add it to this list. So we can't just update movies like this. So we can't just say movies dot push 
and then the new movie that's just not how react works so we have to make use or react is telling us that in order to update a hook we have to use the function that comes out of the hook so this set movies so to do that we'll say set movies and then we'll take the movies like so create an arrow function and we'll say spread operator movies and then new movie now all we're doing here is saying that set the movies to the current list of movies so the godfather up until gladiator and then also add the new movie on top of that and then set it to this so that's all we're doing we're taking the old list we're taking our new movie we're combining the two and we're setting that to our movies so if i head back over there now and if i add a new movie let's say the lord of the rings hit add movie and it's not working because we need to use this function inside our button so we'll say button and then on click this will be add new movie so now if i add movie here you see that lord of the rings has been added to it but we want to clear this as well after we click on add movie so what we can do is inside our add mo new movie we can say set new movie to an empty string so now if i let's just remove this for now so if i add star wars here add movie star wars is added and it clears that from our input and that pretty much brings us to the end of our uh, use state tutorial so our first hook tutorial of this entire program now if you did find this uh, useful please leave a like and subscribe also comment if you have any sort of things that you want to add to this or any kind of future videos that you want please feel free to let me know in the comments there's also a discord server that i have so feel free to join there and also write down your recommendations or if you have any projects that you want help on please feel free to write something there but anyway stay healthy stay safe and i hope to see you in the next video Thank you.